Isn't it funny how people think that just because you're wearing a hijab that you're oppressed? Some people think that just because your hands and face are showing that you're oppressed. Really? I used to work in an office environment where we had to wear a shirt and tie to work. That was oppression. And when you're working in a crowded office with a broken AC and a bunch of sweaty people, that was big time oppression. Muslim women wear hijab in society because they can. No, no, no. You force them to wear it. Who, me? <laughs> I thought this was a free country. The hijab forces a man to look at a woman as a person and not an object. What if no one marry her? Sisters, if a guy doesn't marry you because you cover, drop him like a bad habit because he ain't worth it. Isn't it funny how society uses a double standard when it comes to women covering their hair? What do you mean double standard? Compare a nun to a hijabi and you'll see they both cover practically the same body parts. Yet society labels the nun as the one who is practicing her religion and one who is pious and the hijabi as one who is oppressed. Google the web. Search for Virgin Mary. Look at the images. The picture that the Christians and Catholics think that the Virgin Mary looked like. Notice what she's wearing. Notice the body parts that she's covering. But no one views the Virgin Mary as being oppressed. Once again, the double standard. You see, a Muslim woman doesn't look at herself as being oppressed, but rather liberated. She compels others to judge her for her intelligence, honesty, personality, and kindness. But if you're halfway dressed and guys are looking at you, they're not looking at your kindness. They're not looking at her kindness? <laughs> No! <laughs> what are you thinking? Now before all the Muslim hijabis start high-fiving each other, keep in mind that a Muslim woman who wears hijab is not superior over another Muslim woman who doesn't wear hijab. That's because only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows why you wear hijab. There's some people who don't wear it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they just wear it for their parents or for their culture or following some type of ritual. Since only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows why you wear it, He's the only one that knows what your real intention is. And may Allah reward the sisters who wear it for the right reasons. But if there's a bunch of hijabi sisters sitting around backbinding the one girl who's not wearing hijab, then there's just a bunch of sisters in hijabs sinning. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what's strange? When you see a brand new Muslim convert wearing hijab properly, but then you see the Muslim girl who's grown up all her life being Muslim, wearing hijab, wearing it improperly. What's up with that? This is a common sight of many Islamic events. Unfortunately, a lot of hijab attempts are not hijab. But for one reason or another, no one says anything. Maybe it's because it's a sensitive issue. Or maybe it's because they're worried about how they're going to react. Relax, relax. Okay, you're taking this all wrong. All I'm trying to say is, where are you going? No, 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 no. That's too big. That's too big. No, 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 no. But ignoring it, it doesn't help the situation. I love my sisters in Islam. So much so, I decided to take a chance and do this whole subject about hijab, even though I knew it has a chance of backlashing, but that's okay. You see, sometimes my friends tell me some stuff that hurts my feelings. You have to say the truth, and sometimes the truth hurts. But when the smoke cleared and I got a chance to digest their words, I started thinking about the stuff they were saying, and it made sense. So I changed, and alhamdulillah, I became a better person. But if my friends never say anything to me, and I kept doing the wrong things that I was doing, then they wouldn't be my real friends. Anyways, I realized they told me because they really care about me. But still, it's sometimes hard to approach someone when you, know, uh, when you don't know how they're going to react. So if someone's going to say the truth that a lot of people are scared to talk about, why not a stranger from the internet? Yeah. Who, me? Yeah, you! 500,000 views! You talk about a bunch of controversial subjects in last season, people liked it, why not continue the trend? You're not trying to win a popularity contest, are you? No. So you're gonna do it? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's talk about hijab. Here are some of the many hijab attempts that you may see at your next Osama conference. I have bangs hijab. Sisters, if your hair is covered except for your bangs, which have been conveniently styled and groomed, that's not hijab. The tug of war hijab. Have you ever seen those sisters who look like they're in a wrestling match with a hijab? Like the hijab is trying to escape? You know, it's like the same type of brothers who've never wore a dress shirt before, and when they do, and they're like tucking and untucking it and tucking and untucking it? Anyways, that's not hijab. The Mickey Mouse hijab. Have you ever seen the hijab where all the hair is covered except for the ears? And the ears look like a earring fashion show with every single earring that she owns on her ears? That's not hijab. The short sleeve hijab. This sister looks like she's wearing proper hijab until you get to her arms and you realize she's wearing a short sleeve shirt. Now, if you're a young girl and you're going through a transition phase of wearing hijab, I understand. But if you're wearing hijab your whole life and you're an older sister and no one has the guts to tell you, I'm telling you, that's not hijab. It's a skin tight hijab. Some sisters are confused. They think if they're covering their hair, they're wearing hijab. Hijab is not limited to that. 
Hijab is covering and dressing modestly. That means if you look like you've just painted on your clothes and that's how tight your clothes are, that's not hijab. The hollow hijab. This also knows a transparent hijab because it's completely see-through. You see, if someone can see your hair, skip that. They can see your hair, your highlights, they can see your hair clip, they can see everything. It's not hijab. The convertible hijab. This is the hijab that goes up and down like a convertible car. Sometimes it's at the full hijab, sometimes it's at the I'm halfway there hijab, but unfortunately most of the time it's a I'm laying on your shoulders and chilling until we enter the masjid or someone recites a surah at a wedding. You know what I'm talking about. Have you ever been to those weddings that people look like they're dressed up for a fashion show and spotting a hijabi is like spotting a celebrity? And then when the time comes up for recitation of a surah, suddenly everyone does People think they suddenly get religious at the time of the surah reciting and then like only Allah's watching you during that time? Allah's watching you all the time. And then after the recitation is over, everyone's back to normal. Pop out the dance floor, show the lights, all the religious people disappear, and everyone's like, What's going on? What happened to the jobs? What happened? That's not hijab. So if you're wearing hijab halfway, you're losing both ways. You have to deal with a society who's ignorant about it, and you can lose that on the reward if you're not wearing it properly. But if you wear it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you never lose. Look, I'm not trying to attack the sisters who are wearing hijab improperly. But rather, my point is, if you're going to wear hijab, do it right so you get reward for it, inshallah. By the way, this, thing, this goes for the brothers too. Wait, 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 what do you mean brothers? Oh, yes, you have to cover from your navel to your knees. Oh, I know, I know, I know this, I know this. Apparently, a lot of brothers don't know this. You know who I'm talking about. Brothers, if you're wearing short shorts to the basketball court, don't do it. No one wants to see your short shorts. Who wears short shorts to the basketball court? Please, don't do it. It's nasty. It's nasty. No one wants to see your short shorts. Do you know what I'm saying? No, seriously, do you know what I'm saying? This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. 